Good morning. Um, so before I tell you what Apple Card actually is, I'll start off by answering the first question that I always get from everybody that I introduce Apple Card to, and that is, of course, what is that icon? Or is that some kind of weird expression? Like, what, what does it do? So, <laughs> and with that out of the way, we can actually go to what it is. So, as you know, I sometimes teach people APL. Um, and that involves teaching them the basic syntax of APL. And then I start teaching them um, you know, the array model, and I teach them some basic primitives. And then they, they have a pretty good basic vocabulary, and they, they want to get started. And then they come back to me, um, and they ask me this question, uh, but how do I do this and that? I have this idea, something I want to do, and I, I know these building blocks, but I, I, need, I can't quite think how to put it together. Oh, you mean, what does this glyph do? No, actually, they were asking, how do I do this thing? But we have plenty of documentation on what this glyph and uh, system function and control word does. So let's just give them that. You know, you can go online, you can press F1, uh, use a command for it. You have, we have lots of documentation you can download, you have it in your install folder. Uh, we have various ways that people can be taught about these things. Then we have hints in our various interfaces to remind you what these, these funny squiggles do. Um, we even have this amazing reference card that lists all the, um, the language elements by their <coughs> syntactic class. So, you see, we have plenty of answers on what these various language elements do. Only problem was, they were actually asking, how do I do things? And for that, there aren't so many answers. Well, there are some, right? Natural place to go is dialogue's idiom list. That right? makes sense. The only problem is, that's not really what it's intended for. Right? It's just which things are specially sped up, and it's very limited. It doesn't say anything that's generally applicable. Um, but good thing there's IBM's idiom list. You just need to install APL2 for that. And many of the expressions don't work in dialog APL. But then there's the good old Fin APL idiom list. Right? It's only like 35 years old, and it doesn't use any of the new features. Um, there's a defense workspace. That one's great. If you could find what you looked for there. Like, firstly, it's hard to search there. Secondly, it doesn't do like basic things. It does masterclass John Scholes things, right? And they just wanted to split this text vector into pieces. Enter Apple Card, right? Apple Card contains all of the above. I mean, not just the ones that are listed here, but even all of the things that are in all those documentation things. Um, and it's really easy to get to. So let's go there, have a look. It's also intended to be a really easy interface. This is the only screen in Apple Cart, the main screen. And the way it works is you enter something you want to know about at the top. And it can even be a generally used term out there in the world, a term that has come into use after APL was invented, and therefore it's not a term that's in the APL vocabulary. Say stringify, it's a common way to call things, but we call it format. But Newbies wouldn't know that. And then you get these res results down here. They're roughly ordered by increasing level of complexity in the expression. Um, they use these special codes for the, to indicate what the arguments are. Um, those are taken from the reference card, so they correspond to the reference card. And you have up here a legend for that. So in this case, um, J v is mean an integer vector. It gives you a hint about what kind of argument we expect. Um, and as far as possible, the entries are, are functions. So you can just copy them into your session, give them a name, and they're good to go. 
let's have a look at some of the things you could write here. So you could write, um, for example, a phrase. I think we find something appropriate for that. You can write questions of various concepts. You can write uh, things you want to do. Um, various well-known functions from mathematics and other programming languages work. Um, even Marshall's proposed operators, you can write Unicode glyphs that for mathematical concepts, or and you can combine Unicode glyphs for mathematical concepts. And we have, of course, um, classic entries. And everything has been carefully handcrafted and walked through to have the, use the newest style and the newest uh, functions and primitives that we have in Dialog APL. So, I have a little bit of a problem, but I have a trick for that. And that is, I can't find anything more to put in to this. I've got a bit over 2,000 entries. But then I got this idea. It's like a win-win kind of thing. I'm going to invite you right now to come up and tell me what to write. And see, I can't lose, because if you tell me something that's there, you'll be impressed that it's there. And if you tell me something that's not there, <laughs> then I'll know one more thing to add. So come on up, somebody, have an idea. What should I, what should I search for? Let's try it. Come up to the microphone. Uh, well, the function problem is called not duplicate removal. Duplicate removal. Like this? Right, if we try for Excel, it doesn't find it. And the reason is that we don't have anything uh, built in for Excel. Right? There's, nothing, there's no function that I can give people, at least not something that will fit on the screen, um, that is just an interface to Excel. However, should we do that, then, then yes, there would be a way to do it. Uh, it could be put into the chart. And so. Other formats that we do have things for, like comma-separated files and um, XML and JSON are put there, and things that we have defense for in the defense workspace are also in there. So give me something to put in there, I'll put it in there. But I don't have anything for to go to Excel to put in there. Have a think. Anybody? No? Nobody dares asking what to write? <laughs> Jeff said share the variables. Do you have non-unique in there? And Jeff has shared variables, right? So, ah, okay. Well, I mean, we we don't have any any built-in functionality again that I could. But, but it's not recommended. And things that are I look through everything. <coughs> the things that are that we explicitly ask people not to use, I have not put in here. form, so GUI objects, yeah? Um, of course, as I said, in order of increasing complexity, so there are, there are other things, but the form will be right down here. Let's see. 
at the bottom. I mean, we should maybe say in, at, at GUI form, right? Would help a little bit. Yeah. So then it goes here. It should be right here up here. Right? All the GUI objects are here somewhere. But I mean, form is kind of hard to find, but it's in here somewhere. There you go. Form, it's right there. Oh, man. Hmm? It's right, you have it right here. Yeah. So it's in, it will tell you to get it from defense. And of course, it will tell you how to import from defense. Oops. Okay. And it will say. No? I think I had it somewhere here. Yeah. Um, in any case, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a question of how to use how to use things in these things. And if you go up to the to the help, um, then it will give you lots of instructions, including how do you deal with all the things that are referencing referencing defense. So it can tell you how to Im import those. Oops. Oh, I didn't have that. Yeah. Nice, thank you. You get the first prize there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, does it fit on a screen? Like on a line or? Send me an email with it. So, if it, I mean, obviously, there's no end to how many things we could put in here. But I'd rather have something that can fit on in a screen width. Otherwise, it becomes or a couple of lines at most. Otherwise, it goes bad. Yeah. Okay. Plus slash. Just keep the symbols. Very nice. Right. So you can look for primitives. Inverse. Plus slash. Plus slash inverse. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, common primitives is going to find a lot of, and minus is a problem because it's also used as a dash, so it's kind of hard to know. But it will also use certain in inverses, actually, speaking of that. Like, you also yeah. Need, uh, Euclidean yeah, Tom Lear is great, but <laughs> his lyrics don't really come into the scope, I think. Oh, sorry. This kind of thing. But I should add plotting. Thing it finds here, but you probably want more than that, right? So, add it to the list. Thank you. Any other takers? Zip. Zip. Oh. This? Which kind of zip do you mean? Oh, uh, sh a perfect shuffle. That's what you mean? No, I mean you would have a vector, vector between one of the two binary moves to a vector of pairs. Oh, okay. So, so, so yeah. Okay. It's this, the synonym is missing, but we do have a uh, ripple shuffle. Right? That's vague. I mean, yeah, don't have that again because 
I don't have a function for that. If we add a quad SQL, or if I add something, an easy way to use it. Yes, but the problem is, I can, I can state quite easily, how do you get something from defense? Copy something from defense. But ha all the other tools don't really have a unified way to get them in, and I'm, I'm looking for that, because it gets complicated if I have lots of different ways to import things. No, the idea is, and, and it's something I would like to do here, <coughs> is to, but it's a big job, to be able to you know, click on something and go to the documentation for it. Currently, I will just list it, and you would have to go and then look in all the regular ways to get documentation to, to find them. Um, and there's a bit of a question, where should I direct people? There are many different places they could go. So. But again, Excel interface, SQL interface, all these interfaces, if I had a unified way to get to them, I would add them. I don't want to confuse the user either. So that's in general to all our, all our code libraries and all our extra tools. Anybody else? IBM. What? A any IBM, a particular one? So. What about without the hunt? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I will. I make sure to. I I do have some some utilities written in APL actually that allow me to add synonyms and I've clearly forgotten to <coughs> to add the synonym for that. Thank you. <laughs> and that would be how. I mean, yeah, of course, I could write everything that you can do on a DOS command line. I could write quite CMD something, include the whole. <laughs> Documentation for that and the whole Unix command line and include documentation, but I think that's beyond the scope. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, it's not, but it's not readily available from the APL and the default install. Right? Link is, yeah. yeah. And if you search for things like importing, copying, including, you will find those as well. Um, the database, if you can call it that, it's pretty simple, um, does have columns for various categories. The way the interface works right now, it doesn't allow you to search in particular categories, but you can use a keyword for that kind of thing. So if I, c I can write things like text, it will find everything that has to do with text in general. Um, but everything is completely free, public domain. Um, and if anybody wants to take that database with all these 2,000 things and make a better interface that allows you more flexibility in choosing categories and filtering, I'm all up for it. So yeah, you can, you can write names of, of concepts and it will filter by that. OK, um, back to this. So, there are a few more features. Um, if you don't like the visuals, you can change how that's styled. Um, you can, we can generate permalinks. Uh, there, are, there are a few more things you can do. There are keyboard shortcuts and so on. You can find about, out about it and a lot more by going to the help there. So, applecart.info and questions, suggestions, there are also in the help instructions on how to, to contribute things automatically. Um, but otherwise, you can just email me. Any questions other than what we have addressed already?